everybody, I'm Wonderwall editor Jessica Wiedemeyer and this is Celebs Gone Social. Khloe Kardashian is sick, but unlike the rest of the world, it's not from the flu. These lies truly make me sick, she tweeted Tuesday night, disgusted by the stories you are spreading. Karma. But who exactly is she talking about? Could it be hubby Lamar Odom's ex, Liza Morales, who told the Daily News that she doesn't know if Khloe will make a good mother? Ouch. Or could it be Ellen Kardashian, Chloe's widowed stepmother, who's been brewing up a media frenzy by releasing excerpts from the late Robert Kardashian's journals? We should probably put our guesses to rest either way, because Chloe tweeted this injunction, please stop assuming you know who I'm speaking about, and we're not about to incur the wrath of Chloe Kardashian. There's a rumor circulating that newly single Bethany Frankel is already writing a book about being a single mom. But not so fast, says Bethany, who tweeted, to clear up one of many rumors from bottom feeder journalists, I'm not writing a book about being a single mom. I have no perspective, yet. Well, that's fair enough, considering she and Jason Hoppy aren't even officially divorced yet. But something tells us Bethany will find perspective by the end of the year, just in time for the holiday shopping rush. The London Brothers saga continues, but this time it's Jason London who's in the hot seat. The Days and Confused star was arrested following a bar fight in Arizona, and he took to Twitter to defend himself. Supposedly the fight began when a bouncer accused Jason of sneezing on him, and ended with the supposedly belligerent Jason in a cop car. The actor tweeted, I would never say or do the crap they are reporting. Some guy thought I was hitting on his girl and had me jumped. My wife was in the next room, had no idea what even happened. I hate Arizona. Finally, he says, wait till you see the real pictures. I have a right orbital fracture and a sinus fracture. The truth will win. Well, we hope so, Jason, or else we'll never be able to watch Man in the Moon the same way again. And that's it for today's Celebs Gone Social. Once again, I'm Wonderwall editor Jessica Wiedemeyer, and we'll see you next time.